like like ministry and killing joke and now prom I mean right yeah did, did you did you do some of this to make it accessible to be playing in the clubs because you can dance to something like Prove You Wrong, and Actually, it's still heavy. I think I think there's a lot of rhythmical things on the other records as well. I mean, uh, Ted's a great drummer, and um, he's right on top of beat. The things you know, people could you know react to whatever they want if they want to dance to it or yank themselves to it, whatever that means, and, or just you know jump to it, headbang, whatever. You know that's uh, that's fine. I have no I have no problem with that. I li actually, I kind of like walking to a club and seeing people dance. There. It's kind of interesting. It's just... Any kind of physical reaction is great, whether it be a pit, dancing, Jumping baseball jacks, bat, sit ups, aerobics, aerobics. aerobics. The new thing, prong aerobics. Yeah. prong your size. <laughs> we'll Richard work on Simmons that. For me, will you? <laughs> I think he's a big prong fan too. Right now, we're gonna play a video and talk back to them. And this is a debut from Hardline, and they come from Valencia, California where if you're from California, that's where Magic Mountain, the great amusement park is. Here is Taking Me Down, a debut from Hardline. All your favorite prong hits. No, really, it's just got different extended mixes with some effects put in and stuff like that. Yeah, it's a different feel for it, you know, and people should definitely check it out. Very they, cool. Uh, set them up for stuff we plan on doing in the future. Even. Now, you guys said that you're uh, currently rehearsing for new stuff. Right. Yeah. Tell us about it. We're going to come down and uh, check out a a uh, recording session so you could tell everyone how fantastic our new material is soon. I just think people expect it more. And I think uh, actually a little bit more violent, more moodier, darker record. Now, now that your fan base, you're getting a lot of people that are into the industrial type of music. There I go putting labels on music again, which I hate to do, but I'll do it anyway. Do you think that you're changing your? Do you think that going into the studio, say, "Wow, there's a lot of people now that are into, you know, this kind of stuff now." So let's make sure that we do stuff to please them, or do you just well, do whatever? Well, we've never done anything that out. contrived. I mean, we leave that to a lot of the bands that are, you know, a little more popular than us. So yeah, it's just, yeah. We, I mean, if we try to please uh, people, we drive ourselves nuts. I mean, uh, when we're in the studio working on something, we come up with something we feel is a bit odd. We're like, well, what are people going to think of us? It's like, well. The hell with them. I mean, it's like they like it or they don't. You know, we're gonna put something out just because it's the flavor of the month or anything. Right. I mean, I mean, this band's roots are deep into what people call so-called industrial music. You know, is that what you guys are being labeled as now? I, mean, I don't know what people well, I mean, call years us. Years ago, you know, it was a heavy metal band, and now it's no. Originally, it was like Lower East Side. That was the whole thing. You know, Sonic Youth mixed with uh, the Chromags, and people put always put some of the labels on us and. You know, we're just doing our own thing, and uh, I think it crosses a lot of different fan bases or cults or cliques cults. or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's that word. Well, thank I'm you for stopping up. by, and Thanks I'll, a lot, I'll yeah. listen to the new stuff, and I'll, I'll bring you up to date with uh, yeah. what the new prong stuff is. Great.